Hi everyone, it's Joy here for Chibitronics. Today I'm going to show you how to create a simple circuit and light up some beautiful gold heat embossed snowflakes. So let's get started. Now in my Misty I have a piece of white cardstock and I am stamping my snowflakes. I have three different sizes. This stamp set is actually a Gina K stamp timber stamp set, but you can find any snowflakes that you stamp and have a die cut that works perfectly. So I prepped my cardstock with my anti-static powder tool and I'm inking up my snowflakes with Versamark ink, pressing down to get a really good image. I'm actually going to ink it up twice to make sure I get a good solid image for my heat embossing. I'm going to come in and use some gold embossing powder. I'm going to sprinkle that on. I'm going to set this aside so I can stamp my other two snowflake images. Then I will heat emboss all of those at one time. I'm making sure to leave enough room so I can die cut these snowflakes easily. So again, I'm gonna prep my cardstock with an anti-static powder tool. I just am sprinkling on the powder using a paintbrush to move it around, coming in with my Versamark ink, inking up my stamps, pressing down, and again, I'm gonna do this twice to get a good solid image. And then we're gonna to get to sprinkling on the gold embossing powder. Now, while I'm doing this whole process, I actually have my heat tool on and warming up. The hotter your heat tool is, the less warping of your cardstock and your images you will have. So I'm gonna heat that until it's melted. All three of those images. And I just love watching gold embossing powder or any embossing powder for that matter melt. I just think it's so pretty. You know it's melted when it's nice and shiny. Now I'm going to stamp the sentiment. This, this stamp set has a sentiment that goes inside this snowflake. I'm going to stamp it up with the darkest color of the Island Oasis ink set from Pink Fresh Studio. Then I'm using the coordinating dies. I'm using some low tack tape to hold these in place. I will run these through my die cut machine and we will have some beautiful, beautiful snowflakes. Don't use any really strong tape here because you don't wanna pull off any of your embossing powder. Like I said, this is just low tack tape holding it in place and I'm going to tape it down in a couple different spots so it doesn't shift or move. Now for my background, I am going to use all four of the colors. Right now I just have three of the lightest colors from the Island Oasis ink set from Pink Fresh Studio. I'm using my blender brush starting with the lightest color at the bottom, going with the medium, then the darker, and then I will bring in the darkest color at the very top, just doing a nice, pretty blend. I love this turquoise color with, or teal color with gold. I just think it's so, so pretty, and it just feels very wintry to me, and that's how I wanted this background to look and feel, since we'll be putting some snowflakes on top and the snowflakes are white and gold. Now, obviously the other snowflakes, you could add a different color cardstock in the back and gold emboss those that way. So I'm just gonna finish blending this together. I'm gonna come back in, add a little bit more of the lightest color right at the bottom until I get a nice good blend between all four of those colors. Now I'm gonna place my snowflakes where I want them. I'm just gonna use a pencil and just mark some spots on this background because I wanna know where I'm going to make some holes with a hole punch. That way the light from the little lights can come through. On this biggest snowflake, I'm gonna kind of have a row of lights right behind the sentiment, but you could put them all over the background of this snowflake because it is quite large. But I'm just gonna go right behind that sentiment strip, essentially, for the lights. This is going to have white lights. The other two snowflakes will each have a blue light behind it. So I'm just gonna come in, I'm making sure everything's lined up straight. I marked on either side, then I'm gonna come in and just mark some dots kind of far apart. I will not put this many lights in, but I just wanted to have enough dots so I know exactly where my sentiment is. I'm just gonna use a hole punch to punch out all of these little holes for my lights to come through. This just makes it super easy, but you could use a piercing tool and make your holes that way as well. Now that that's finished, I'm going to line up my top panel with a back white panel, and I'm just gonna mark all of those circles because this is where we're gonna lay out our circuitry. I'm cutting a little piece of cardstock to house the battery. I'm gonna fold that in half and trim off any excess. I'm gonna adhere that in place on the bottom left side, 
And now we're gonna come in with the copper tape. I first I'm gonna mark my negative and positive parts on the battery house. And I'm gonna start with the negative copper tape or negative line first using the copper tape. So when you want to go into a direction, you're gonna actually fold it the opposite way over itself. So I'm gonna fold it back here and then fold it over itself again to then go straight across. And then I'm gonna do the same thing and I'm just peeling back the paper to reveal the sticky part of the copper tape. So again, this is the negative line. I'm just going around the little dots that I marked. Now we're gonna come in with a bone folder and just press this down. You want a nice good adhesion with this copper tape. So a bone folder is a really nice way to make sure that this is nice and snug to your cardstock. I'm going to put my positive line on the inside of the battery house and then go out and around and fold it back so I can make a turn. So whichever way you want to turn, you're going to fold back first the opposite way and then fold the way you want to go. And that's how you get a nice, good, easy turn. I'm gonna do that again, I'm gonna turn it away and then over itself and then back. And so obviously I'm leaving enough room so these two lines do not touch and that way the lights are the lights have sticky backs so you're going to stick it to the positive and the negative and you need to have a little bit of room in between so it can touch both positive and negative line so i'm just going to wrap this around this is a super easy simple circuit but when you have this whole card together all the components together it looks so beautiful and this really is super easy to make so i'm going to come back in with the bone folder once again pressing down all of those areas, especially where you made the little turns. You want that nice and crisp and nice and snug to your cardstock. Then we're gonna come in with the lights. So like I said, I'm gonna be using blue and white lights. So the two smaller snowflakes are gonna have the blue lights. And then that larger snowflake is going to actually end up with three white lights. That was plenty to light up behind that large snowflake. So I'm gonna make sure that the positive there on each one of the lights there's a positive and negative make sure they're touching the corresponding lines so here are the rest of the white lights and i'm just going to kind of evenly place those and they are lined up perfectly now we're going to come in with some foam tape this needs to have three layers of foam tape well first i wanted to check and make sure all my lights were lined up this one was a little bit off and I'm just gonna lay my piece over and now that was good. So now we're gonna do the foam tape. So we need three layers of foam tape around the perimeter of the whole card. You also need some layers of foam tape around your little um, battery because you don't want your battery to slide out. So I do three layers around that as well. And it's okay if it goes over your copper tape. This one even went over the light a little bit. It doesn't interfere with your lights turning on at all. So once that's done, uh, I'm going to peel back all of the uh, release paper. I'm gonna actually stick this in my Misty to line it up. Now you will notice I do not take this, the paper back off of the foam tape around the battery. I leave that on so nothing gets stuck and, and my battery can, I can press down and that has that movement still. So now I'm gonna line up my uh, snowflakes here and adhere them in place. That large snowflake is going to have some foam tape behind it. So I'm just gonna use some regular adhesive for the smaller snowflakes and then foam tape for this larger snowflake. I will trim off the excess of these snowflakes except for the larger one. So just the two smaller ones. I like the larger one hanging off the edge. Now I'm gonna come in and stamp the push here stamp so that way your recipient knows you need to push this card. Then we're gonna come in and add some snowflake sequence from the Unicorn Snow Mix from Belle Rose. And I'm gonna add a few of those around and these are iridescent and they're so super pretty. And I'm just using a little bit of liquid glue to adhere those in place. Once this is done, this card is completely finished. And here it is all lit up. You can see the blue behind the two smaller snowflakes and then all of those beautiful white lights behind that large snowflake just lights up the whole card. Thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching. I hope that you enjoyed this project and I will see you soon. Bye.